I was governor. You come late to church. Church! You go and keep an empty seat in front for somebody who is not in the church. The seat is empty. He comes in the middle of the church. He's walking to the front. Nobody cares. If possible, the priest will stop talking. And be welcoming him for coming late. Hello, my country people. I on a day. Hope say on a day very okay. He get one or one get video where I won't bring come on now. Make on watch. Make on a conceal the true definition of a leader. Make on a con know the true definition of someone where be say he they born to rule. He get the spirit for body to be leader. Make on a con here waiting this man talk. Governor Peter will be released word of wisdom for this thing. Now, person we know they tribalistic or religious waiting, waiting, waiting. No, we na need to watch this video. But before I plan on the video, I want to welcome one to Real Gist Online TV. And after they watch the video, make we not forget to share this video so that people go watch them and come they educated and more enlightened. My people, when I watch the video. Children, I spent valuable time with Mr. Peter Obi this morning. I wish to. To those who see him as ethnic candidate, to get to know him better. I also wish to those who try to sell him, tone down their ethnic identity. I hope this nation will see and listen to this candidate. Revolution is coming. Because I sat down to him, I said, listen. I told him, I said, you think this is issue of tribe or issue of religion? No. Can you show me the rules? Where that is paid for Muslims to drive through so I can pass through it. Can you show me where Muslims buy bread cheap? Can you show me those where there's so much no poverty for Muslims so we can go there and live? I said, the president is from Kasuna. I visited Kasuna. People were living in fear. Even more fearful than my state. So it is not issue of religion, it is not issue of tribe. That is what we politicians used to continue the confusion called Nigeria. We have gangsters all over the place. And when I say, people say, so stop using the word, I say no. Nigeria is a case of, it's not just political class. It's a case of where lunatics took over. They are silent. They are running it in a gangstering way. Everybody's Guilty of it. All of us here. Like I said, I keep taking my reference to Father George this morning. Say, Father George, I've been a governor. This is the only country that will celebrate criminality. Everybody, including the church, they're not exempted. This is the only country you vote Peter will be in. Everybody knew he doesn't have a house in Ikoi when we voted him in. I was living in Festac when I became governor. So everybody knew where I lived. And suddenly he buys a mighty house in Ikoi, running into billions. The Koreas furnishes the everything and buys the church for housewarming. The church comes in, they are praying for him. We see him wherever he got to this thing, they want him to build more. <laughs> the people, the church people all over the place, waiting to eat and drink and are praising him. They know where the money came from. It's known to everybody. Because they're saying what the church, the role of the church. They know where the money came from. But instead of calling police, and saying this man has stolen our money they are the ones celebrating it this is the country where i was governor you come late to church church you go and keep an empty seat in front for somebody who is not in the church the seat is empty he comes in the middle of the church he's walking to the front nobody cares if possible, the priest will stop talking and be welcoming him for coming late. And the church people will be clapping. 
and calling him if he has nickname like me, oh, hey, hey, hey. this man came late. Let come and stay at the back. But we refuse to do it. I want to tell people, listen, you can't go in front because you're late. So when for a judge said about impunity, it is a place where impunity, rascality, and bad behavior have become a measure of success and power. You can't use it the wrong measure. This man came late. And we know he should we have young ones growing up who are learning what this man is doing and think that is how to live. So you have to come late. This is what I was saying for a judge when he told me about this topic. I said, there's so many things you can stop. So if they have to push people for Peter to pass, that should have power. If they have, even if it's old people, push them down. So the rascality is allowed. You are clean up. People say, come in front. No, you can't kill them. No, you're not part of, no. Governor, we don't want you to stay here. Or be told, come in front. Why will you go in front? You are killing where you are supposed to kill. These are little things that is missing here that makes our country the opposite of what it should be. Because of it, the man who steals your 80 billion, of course, it is better for him to steal it and settle those who will settle and go home. Do you know what it means? 80 billion. 80 billion by official areas is 200 million dollars. You see people today sharing dollars in Nigeria. All over the place. And nobody is asking the question. In fact, everybody is keen to collect his own. Nobody is saying this thing we are doing. One of the greatest measure of your economic stability is your currency. Today, Nigeria has been dollarized. And Nigerians are celebrating those we voted into power who have no means of earning dollar. They cannot show us means of earning dollar. If you do that anywhere in the world, they will ask you to show evidence of your dollar earning in the past five years, including relevant taxes paid. But it was being shared in public. But we are arresting young boys who have laptops. But we have people who are shared, people who have. We're asking people to pay 100 million naira, 40 million naira to buy phone. In a country, Nigerian per capita is 2,000. American per capita is 75,000. Because Nigerian economy, as you know, is $400 billion GDP versus American GDP of $22 trillion. Yet, you cannot pay $2,000 to buy form to contest the election in America. But they are charging you here in Nigeria $200,000 to buy form to be governor. That's what Father is saying. You're owing lecturers. You're negotiating with bandits. You see governors going to negotiate with bandits. But they're not negotiating with lecturers. And everybody is keeping quiet. Because it's not important. The global average intake admission of higher school intakes is that 8%. In the Western world, it's at eight. Nigeria is nine percent. We're not even achieving a quarter of the global average, and that is the problem. Real Jeep Online, the best place for news and entertainment around the world.